In this question, we're given the equation and description for a process, and we need to decide if it's a chemical or physical process. So to define that, a chemical process is one in which the identity of the substances changes during the process. By identity, we mean what a substance is made up of actually changes. In a physical process, however, some aspects might change, but the identity of the substance will remain the same. So to figure out if a process is chemical or physical, we need to think about the identity of the substances before and after to see if they're the same or different. So in this question, we're told we have water that's frozen to produce ice. So in the equation, we can see we've got H2O to start with, with an L showing it's a liquid, ending up as H2O with an S showing that's a solid. So something is changing in this process. The state of the water is changing. It starts as a liquid and it ends as a solid. However, the identity of the substance, what it's actually made up of, is staying the same. You can see we start with H2O and we end with H2O. Those uh, atoms haven't been rearranged at all within the molecules. So the identity, has it changed? No, it hasn't. Therefore, this must be a physical process because the identity has not changed. Let's look at this process now. Here we have a piece of solid aluminium, shown here, aluminium with the S symbol, placed in a beaker of hydrochloric acid solution. So you can see we've got HCl with that AQ showing it's aqueous, it's a solution in water. This then produces a solution of aluminium chloride, AlCl3, and it's a solution because it's AQ aqueous and it produces hydrogen gas, which is H2 with that G symbol for the gas. So there's a lot going on here. If we look at our states, we can see we start with a solid and something that's aqueous, and we end up with something that's aqueous and a gas. So some of the states are changing in this process. However, if we actually look at the identity of each thing, we start with aluminium and hydrochloric acid. But at the end, those elements have rearranged themselves into different compounds. The hydrogen and the chlorine start off as a ionic compound together in solution. At the end, they've broken apart. The hydrogen has formed its own molecule of hydrogen gas and the chlorine has reacted with the aluminium to form an ionic compound in solution. So the actual arrangement of the elements together has changed. So the identity of the substances has changed in this process, yes. Therefore, it's defined as a chemical process because a chemical process is one where the identity of the substances change.